all living things are grouped into five kingdoms. And in this video, we are going to look at the animal kingdom in more detail. Before we start, you may want to watch our video on classifying organisms first to remind yourself of kingdom, phyla, class, order, family, genus and species. There are thought to be over 7.5 million species of animal on planet Earth, of which 900,000 have been described. These are arranged into over 30 phyla, of which these are the nine most common. And these five are the five main animal phyla. Arthropods, annelids, mollusk, nematodes, and chordata. Make up a rhyme or acronym to help you remember them. Auntie Anne makes nice cakes. A A M N C. A big question to ask is, do they have a backbone? If yes, they are a vertebrate. If no, they are an invertebrate. This can be tricky to remember. I always think of no backbone is longer to say than backbone. So no backbone must be invertebrate and backbone is just a vertebrate. All of these are invertebrates and just these here, the chordata, contain all of the vertebrates. Not all chordates are vertebrates, but all vertebrates are chordate. Let's have a look at the vertebrates in more detail. There are many different classes of vertebrate, but the five most well-known ones are the fish, birds, amphibians, mammals, and reptiles. Again, make up a little acronym to help you remember. Farmer Bob ate Marmite rolls. Each class has different characteristics that defines them. Like mammals, which have fur or hair, feed their young on milk, and are warm-blooded. Pause the video and have a look at what the difference is for each of these five common vertebrate classes. Sometimes people aren't too sure whether something is a reptile or an amphibian. Reptiles have scaly skin, breathe air, and usually live on land, except for turtles. Amphibians live double lives. They start in the water and breathe with gills, and as they grow older, they develop lungs. Once inside a class, so mammals for example, different species are grouped together in even more detail. There are about 5,000 species of mammals, classified into three subclasses and about 26 orders. So that's the vertebrates. Now for the invertebrates. Let's go back to our nine phyla. And the five main ones, remember, Auntie Anne makes nice cakes. Let's have a look at arthropods in a little more detail. They all have a hard exoskeleton and have jointed legs. See how diverse they are? Notice how spiders are not insects, but they are a different class of arthropods altogether, called arachnids. And just like in animals, these classes break down even further, like for insects. So from this video, you should now know that the animal kingdom breaks down into over 30 phyla with these as the main five. And then these phyla break down into more detail. The chordata include all vertebrates, which in itself breaks down into lots of different classes, including these five. 